Hello, welcome to my channel once again. I'm going to be showing you how to convert this image to an editable vector. It's useful when you have a simple logo that you want to kind of edit, but it's in JPEG and it's uneditable. So to convert this to a vector um, object, it's very simple. And towards the end of the tutorial, I'm just going to... This one is very short, so I'm just going to create something nice from this one, but I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed up the video around that time. So if you really need to pick up what I'm doing, you can just slow down the video and you'll catch up with what I'm doing. So we start. Simply, when you have a vector that looks like this, what you need to do is come up here. You'll find Trace Bitmap. I'm using Corel X8. That's Corel 18. So you come up here, you'll find trace bitmap. Click on it and click on quick trace. So quick trace is going to do something. If you noticed what it did, if you didn't notice it, no problem. What it did was this. Let me control Z. You might not uh, pick it up immediately, but click on trace bitmap, quick trace, and then you see this. It changes with this. So what this happened, what this does is this. What happens is this. Just click and drag this one to one side look at this image here this particular image here you are unable to edit it if you click on it if you notice what it says it brings out edit bitmap bitmap trace bitmap and all that you can't change the color if you put white scan nothing can happen you just cannot edit it so quick trace does this to you or for you so what you want to do first is to come here and then ungroup it or right click and then on group objects or on group all objects now if you come here you can easily change the color of this one that way the color of this one that way very simple so i'm going to go ahead now and that's the end of the quick trace so i'm going to create a logo out of this one now and i'm going to be speeding up the tutorial enjoy it thank you very much see you at the end
and there you go so thank you very much for watching you can go back and slow the video down if you want to see how i did all those things and thank you very much for watching see you in the next one keep creating and keep doing it well bye